Hello, friend Mormo here. It's very windy. I got my artist trading card. I don't know if you can see it or not. I can barely see. I got my artist trading card. This is the one that's supposed to be for the local market that I can sell it locally in um, gift shops and stuff like that. And so I'm taking it to PostNet to um, get my copies printed. So keep watching, keep watching. Okay, friends, so I dropped off my card to be printed. You can see it here. It's like a hillbilly card. It says Branson, Missouri on it. And like I say, I'm gonna try and sell it to gift shops um, in a plastic case, sell the prints in gift shops. And then right on the back, helpfulhillbilly.com. Visit helpfulhillbilly.com and I'll put my signature on there. But, uh, we'll see. I got 105 prints made up, or that's what I ordered. I haven't gotten them yet, but I went and come and go and got this weird energy drink. Science, I guess is how you say it. But it's frostberry, natural flavored with other natural flavors. Caffeine plus L-theanine to help support energy and focus. Zero sugar, 15 calories per can. Great taste, zero sugar, good source of B vitamins. No added colors, low calorie, so let's give it a try here. I'll open it on camera. And I'll give it a smell. Hmm. I think I'm a little stuffed up right now. It smells good though, it definitely smells good. So I talked to my friend at the copy store and he already knew that I became a member of the Artist Guild, which is really cool. I felt so blessed because I was able to join the Artist Guild with money I earned because of my art. So that was a really nice thing and um, I'm a member of the Artist Guild now. And uh, tonight, they're actually doing a cosplay figure drawing event. <clears throat> and my buddy said that it was going to be Batman. Was the, it was somebody cosplaying as Batman. And that they'll have tables set up. I asked him, can I bring all my markers and stuff? And he said, yeah, that was fine. And um, I believe it's from seven to nine tonight. It costs 10 bucks, but it should be fun to get to draw Batman. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Giving it a try, drawing from a live model. And soon I'll have my prints. So keep watching, keep watching. Okay, friends, so I got my prints printed up. 105 prints of that hillbilly card. I put them in the car. Now I'm gonna go have Taco Tuesday at El Poblano. And, uh,. I'm gonna have Taco Tuesday at El Poblano, so keep watching, keep watching.
friends, so here I am. This is my art table. It's a mess. And um, I got my prints back. I got five sheets of prints. So there, it'll be 105 cards of the hillbilly cards. And here's He-Man. He wants to be a part of this video. Hi, He-Man. Meow. <coughs> but I got five sheets of 21 prints each. And uh, I'm gonna start cutting now. So keep watching, keep watching. Hello, friend. Here I am back at home. I had a delicious meal at El Poblano. I got my sheet of cards here and I'm just going to start cutting cards. And I just cut them by hand. If I wanted to, I could pay the guy at the copy store to cut the cards, but I actually enjoy the work. I enjoy cutting the cards. So I just do it myself. Plus, I think that when the cards are hand cut by the artist, they're kind of worth a little more. I can write in the description that the prints are hand cut by the artist. And uh, so tonight, I think I already talked about this. But tonight, I'm going to go to a figure drawing at the Art Guild. It's a, it's a cosplay figure drawing. They bring in a cosplayer, and uh, everybody can draw the cosplayer. And tonight, it's going to be Batman, and uh, I'm pretty stoked about that. Um... Definitely pretty stoked. And it's ten bucks to go to the figure drawing. But I figure it's worth it. Maybe I can cut like or maybe I can draw something like two cards and then get twenty a piece per card so I profit 30 bucks so that's not bad and it's a good um, opportunity for me to draw from life rather than draw off of a picture or something online here's the first three of the hillbilly card and uh, I'm not sure how many I'll cut because I still need to sign them all. I'm going to sign them with my signature. And then I'm going to put my web address. I'm going to say visit hopefulhillbilly.com so that people can join my email list. And uh, people can go to my uh, YouTube art card playlist which I have monetized with ads so I can make a little bit of money that way as well but mainly I want to get um, people on my um, email list so that I can notify them when new cards are available. And I'd like to start selling my cards via auction again, because you never know, I might actually make more money selling the cards at auction. I got the potential to make more money but my friend at the copy store said that there'd probably be like six or seven 
people there tonight for the pause play drawing. So I'm going to try and bring cards to give away. And I don't know if I'm giving away my secret or not, because if I promote art cards locally, then other people might start doing them. And then I might have competition locally for selling them. But so far, um, online anyway, I've found that the more people interested in art cards, the better it is for everyone. And I've actually, I've actually got people started making their own art cards and selling their own art cards. And so far, the more people involved with art cards, just the better it is for everybody. It's just like one of those a high tide rises all ships kind of scenarios. So I guess I'm not going to worry about local competition. <coughs> I guess my only worry is that if everybody is doing art cards locally, then um, the local gift shops and stuff might not want to do business with me. But uh, I think it'll be fine. So I'm just going to share my art card business with everybody locally in the art guild by giving them my cards and then they can go online and see my playlist I'm just gonna cut three more here and then I'll have 12 cards I can take with me to the um, cosplay figure drawing tonight and give out my cards and maybe they'll join my email list or check out my art card playlist on YouTube but it's been an awesome day today my um, caseworker was sick, so he couldn't come come out to my house today. But um, we took care of some business via the phone. I had to reschedule a doctor's appointment, which really sucked because the only the next available. Um, appointment was like three months away so I have to wait like I have to wait like three months until May to see my doctor so that was kind of a bummer but something important came up and I had to cancel the appointment government wants to talk to me on that same day at pretty much the same time and I've made that the priority and just ow god damn it he man stupid cat he always jumps on my lap but there's my art cards that I have cut so far and thanks so much and keep watching keep watching okay friends so now i have 12 art cards cut and put into plastic cases and signed you can see they have my signature the date and they say visit hopefulhillbilly.com and there they can join my email list and uh 
they can check out my YouTube playlist about how to make money with art cards. And uh, so now I'm just waiting for the uh, show tonight. The, uh, or not show, but rather the cosplay. Um, figure drawing tonight what's going to be Batman so keep watching keep watching hello friend I'm outside of the art gallery I'm about to go in I don't know if I'll be allowed to record inside the event or not but uh, I'm really excited I got my supplies here and uh, keep watching, keep watching. friend I'm back home and uh, I had a great time at the art gal gallery I didn't freak out and I didn't black out or anything and uh, I got two cards done it was still gonna go on for another hour but I was spent normally I can only do one card a day but today I did two cards and I just ran out of juice. So I left and went home and uh, I think I'll probably eat a turkey sandwich later tonight, but I'm really dizzy right now. So I'm gonna sit down in front of the computer and work on my computer for the rest of the night. But real quick, I want to tell you that both of the Batman cards are for sale on eBay. I got them listed on eBay for 20 bucks a piece. So if you want to pick up either of those Batman cards, you can um, get them on eBay for 20 bucks with free shipping. And... Uh, I'll put a link to my eBay store in the description. And thanks so much for watching. And go ahead and check out my eBay store by clicking the link in the description. And thanks so much.